Hey Vogue, it's Jessica Chastain and this is my everyday morning routine. And I wanna start my day on the best note. So these are Ritual. This is the essential for women and I'll usually do it with a tea. I've got the Dr. Devkin, the Lash Serum. Serum is super important for your skin and True Botanicals has a Chibula Serum. And I wanna give it time on my skin to really absorb. When you put things on, you always go up. I worked with a makeup artist once who just kept hitting me. <laughs> she kept doing this to my skin with the products. It's like, what are you doing? I realized it made my skin look better. I don't know what that is. I've always known that taking care of your skin is an extension of taking care of yourself. And no matter how busy you are, you should always find time for it. My grandmother took me to the um, cosmetics counter at like a department store when I was in sixth grade, seventh grade, and hooked me up with a bunch of skincare products. I didn't even know that I had to wash my face at that time. And it really started the ritual of taking care of my skin. I travel a lot and when I travel, I love to get products. And these masks, they're hard to find. And sometimes I'll even wear these in the car when I'm going to hair and makeup for a film. Also, I'm a person who loves to do skincare on flights and I put a, a full sheet mask on my, my face and then go to sleep. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a, a scarf that is breathable and just put it over my head. <laughs> You land, your skin looks amazing. You're ready to take on the new city. I love this. I have many different kinds of sunscreen I use, but the True Botanicals ones is nice because look, it's tinted and I use it as primer underneath my eyeshadow. Now we're going to eyeshadow. Boop. Lots of different palettes of eyeshadow. I thought this was really cute. It's like such a cute place to keep your brushes and they're upside down. I tend to go with the darker colors first and then put the lighter colors on. Maybe I'll do this. I'm gonna smear that in. Now, I was raised by a single mother of two brothers and two sisters. She was super young. She was 17 when she had me. Because she was young and so fun, she always had makeup and stuff around my grandma too. They were great beauties, my mom and grandma. I'm gonna do a smaller one for the lower. And so I would sneak makeup as soon as I could. It was really important to me to be as cool as them. I go the light, light color. Again, this is just like, I know it's gonna look really messy, but I think it's cool. Cause again, I'm gonna smear it around. I love like the pops of colors in my wardrobe, but in terms of my face, earth tones all the way. The great thing about this is it's super hydrated and I don't have to clean off any of the eyeshadow that's fallen down. So now I'm gonna prep my skin for foundation. True Botanicals, it's a pure radiance oil. I have super dry skin. Part of that's my genetics, part of that's my fault because I don't drink enough water. If everyone drinks water, good for you. I try my best but it's not as easy as drinking other things. <laughs> I wanna hydrate my skin because I don't drink enough water and I need to and it stops today, so I will. There we go. I am a lip balm kind of gal. Love it, love it, love it. I always have it in my purse. That and sunscreen. Is that, like, I think those are the only two things I always have in my purse. I have a red lipstick too. Sunscreen, let's use this one right now. Maybe I should have gotten a new one for this video. <laughs> There we go, okay. This is the Mario Badesco, the, the drying lotion. People are gonna give comments right now, but I have long fingers and they're clean. And here we go. I'm just gonna take a little tiny, tiny bit like that. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna kind of wipe it off. You got like a, a layer on between the blemish and the makeup. So watch this. So I've got like the shield on and now I'm gonna do the rest of my coverage. Foundation. I like this Charlotte Tilbury. I like it. The goal is to look as natural as possible. Sometimes actually when I'm acting, I wear 
even less makeup than I do in normal life. Depending on the characters don't have time. And so like a, a film I just finished called Memory, that makeup was just really putting sunscreen on because like the character I played, Sylvia, doesn't wear a stitch of makeup. I've definitely done movies where I've had to wear a ton of makeup, like Molly's Game. Come <laughs> I've had so many people just be shocked by that film. Hourglass. What was so fun about Molly's Game is that the character looked nothing like me. And as an actress, that's an amazing thing to play. I also saw the difference in men around me when I played that. I kind of studied the Kardashians a bit. There was a lot of face shading as Molly. I love this brand, Neen. Sometimes I do this, gives myself a little sun-kissed look. So love these things, Urban Essentials. I always take it on the airplane, it's in my carry-on, but it's so great, like if it's a stressful moment, it like resets you. It also helps you clean your hands. All right, now I do this eye pencil. It's a makeup forever. So it like brightens up the eye. Makes your eyes look bigger. Should we do mascara next? Doesn't matter, let's do it. We got the Dior. I just kind of go though to the root. I don't sometimes pull it all the way through. Oh, I do this. I just want to get those lashes that you wouldn't be able to reach. One thing I forgot here. You see that, that little like sunspot? I'll go there. Okay, another Charlotte product I love. It's really important to kind of always try to brush them up. The eyebrows don't take over my face. They do grow down. I'm just using a regular eyeshadow. This one might be using this one. When people are younger, your face is fuller. And as you get, you know, more wise and experienced, my face anyway, started to thin out a bit, but I have always had this bump on my nose. See, I've just kind of done a little tiny bit of shading, hardly anything, and it softened the bump. Lips. I'm gonna do another moisturizer. So pretty, right? I've used this so much, I can't even tell you the color of it, but it's Armani. You know how I said I use, I put a red lipstick in my purse kind of all the time? This is what I love to do with the red lipstick. If it's evening and I'm like, oh no, I want a big red mouth, it just feels so like badass and French and I just love it. I layer, layer, layer. It kind of looks like I've just like made out with someone. Also kind of what I love about it is what you can do with red lipstick. I also sometimes throughout the day can just like add a little bit more. Powder. This reminds me of my, my grandmother's makeup, which is probably why I love it. I just put it here here and here. I was taught this trick by a makeup artist is to spray rose water um, as the finishing touch. I love the way it smells. Let's do hair. I use these clips to give it a cool, you see that indentation that happened just from it? I love this brush. It doesn't break my hair. I'll just like, I want it to, I want my hair to look like I didn't really do anything. This is my natural hair color. I don't know if you can see my gray. Yeah, probably right there. There's a lot of gray. The cool thing about red hair too is it turns white. It doesn't really turn gray. I need a little bit of this by my roots anyway to kind of like thicken up top. I think it's cool. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Like no effort, right? I did this after the shower with wet hair, but I also do this throughout the day. I'll just take some, put on the ends of my hair. It doesn't even need to be wet. And I'll just put it through. I, I know you're supposed to wash it out. I never do. What's great about the True Botanicals is they have the body lotion that has retinol in it. Day to day, it's nice to have this dewiness about you. I love perfumes. I have a different perfume for every character I play. I just can't quit this perfume right now. It's, it's sticking with me. It's my perfume of the summer. And you can tell I don't have a lot left in there. When I'm working on a character, I think about what that character would smell like. And when I think about what that scent would be, like Tree of Life, 
Uh, I thought she'd smell like orange blossoms because there's something so natural and earthy about it. So when I'm doing research, I'll wear the perfume of the character. And then when I'm shooting, I do it every day. And it's like an immediate, you know, like, oh, emotional thing of falling into the character. All right, so I'm done. I think we made a deal to drink more water. So I'm gonna go have a glass right now. Bye, Vogue.